So I had that conversation I promised I was going to try to have with Synology about the future of hardware transcoding on disk stations. And for a long time, most of the disk stations, especially the plus disk stations that were coming out from Synology, were using some flavor of Intel processor, generally a Celeron, that had a GPU in it. And it's the, the existence of the GPU that enables what we call hardware transcoding. It's still software. It's just using the GPU instead of the CPU, which, generally speaking, is much better suited to do transcoding of video uh, than a CPU is. It can It's much more efficient at it. And, you know, in like the 2020 versions of the disk stations, the 1520 plus, the 920 plus, those sorts of things, the Celeron that was in there could do, uh, you know, could hardware transcode a 4K video on the fly down to, you know, 720p or whatever, which is amazing when you're traveling and need to rely on the server, a.k.a. your disk station, to send you less data, right? Like if your Wi-Fi in the hotel sucks, then you, you, you can't take, you know, 25 megabits per second of 4K video like you might want when you're at home. And so you need it to transcode and you need it to do it there because, it, because of all that. What I have noticed, though, is with the 2021 and now 2022 models of the disk stations, they've moved to the AMD processors. The Ryzen is one of them. And they're much better on the CPU side, but they completely lack GPUs. And I started getting worried because it meant, and I have to say this, I, you know, I, I have to offer a, a bit of a rata. I said that the 1522 plus was a good Plex server. I, I, I've decided it is not. I've moved my Plex server back to my 1520 plus. So I have the 1522 plus running pretty much everything that doesn't have to do with media. And then my 1520 plus my fifth. Yeah, my 1520. So the two year old one is the one doing the heavy lifting of the transcoding. I actually have it pointing to the other one. The data is all stored on the 22 uh, with and I have it pointing with NFS, which is a geeky thing. If you want to know about it, ask me. I'm happy to dig into it. But uh, but I asked Synology what the future looked like. And they they shared something with me. There are no current plans to include GPUs for transcoding purposes in their devices. Their thought process is that the server is the least powerful place to do any transcoding, and it's much better when that happens in the streaming devices, okay? Uh, but I shared with them that specifically when using mobile or traveling, when transcoding must happen on the server because of those bandwidth constraints we just talked about, uh, they are looking at this internally and will share more as information becomes available. Uh, and... They were also curious to hear people's thoughts on pre-transcoding when you're traveling so as to avoid the need for this, right? Because you can do some of that pre-transcoding in Plex. Synology's own video station offers offline transcoding so that you can convert your videos to, you know, a smaller MP4 container that, that has maybe a 720 instead of the, the 4K one. And so you can leverage the CPU to do that in a, you know, non-timely fashion, Uh I, you know, I, I never know what I'm going to want to watch when I'm on the fly. And and some of the things that I want to watch from a hotel room are things that like my channel's DVR app records. And so those have to be those those can't be pre-transcoded pre because they're recorded sort of live. And so uh, but I'm I'm curious. Feedback at MacGeekab.com. Let us know what your what your thoughts are on this, because Synology is listening. I I, I can't stress that part enough. They are abs. They had not thought about this until I don't I can't say they hadn't thought about it. This they were very appreciative. I don't want to put words in anyone's mouth. They were very appreciative when I brought this idea to them uh, and uh, and are are very much into considering all of this as as time marches forward, as they said. So 